Hey everybody, welcome back to Breakfast with Bob from the Challenge Championship and the Collins Cup. We're brought to you by Master Spas, Hyper Ice, Form Smart Swim Goggles, You Can, Hoka One One Clash USA, and of course our Challenged Athletes Foundation. Our next guest, a young man who I have not met before, Mr. Max Newman. How are you doing? Pretty good. Good, good to be here out of Australia. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, was it, a, was it hard to get here? Yeah, actually. It's... Uh yeah, Australia doesn't let their citizens um, leave the country. So, uh, yeah, you need to put in all sorts of exemptions. And, um, yeah, it's just just crazy. For me to get here was all right, but uh, for my girlfriend to get here was... Um, Nightmare. Almost impossible. And, like, you can't really do this sport by yourself. So No, you need come that over here, You need that yeah. support, and they just don't understand that, and they don't really care. And it's a bit of a shame, really. <laughs> and then when you go back... You have to quarantine for two weeks? Yeah, two weeks, hotel, um, no, no windows. windows. A, you can, if you get very lucky, uh, get a balcony, but um, it's uh, luck of the draw. You literally hop on a bus and they, you don't know where you're going and you get dropped at a hotel and you've got to shut your door and spend two weeks there. Wow, so you don't know what hotel they're taking no, you to? you just get... You it sounds like you're bus. going to prison. It's literally like you're going to jail. Is, oh, it sounds like they're setting up a cottage industry where the, these, <sighs> the they're like, okay, we're... We're gonna uh, get you rent you a treadmill. And yeah, yeah. Uh, you can rent. Yeah, you can rent treadmills. Um, but some people don't allow it because it doesn't fit through the door. So again, it's like the luck of the draw. And uh, yeah, uh, so I'm hoping for a treadmill. Hoping for a, I'll get my bike trainer, my turbo in there, and um, hopefully get a bit of training done. But uh, <laughs> you can't be too optimistic. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. So you are matched up against uh, from Europe, Daniel Bakkegaard from Denmark. And Ben Canute, and you've you've raced Ben before. Yeah, I think I've raced Ben a couple of times. I think the last time was actually here. Oh, okay. Um, the Challenge Championship um, would have been 2019 now. Okay. Um, and yeah, I think uh, it was a year when we all it was a big current in the in the river, and uh, me and Dylan McNeese um, got away. Decided to <laughs> stay right next to the shore, and everyone else went into the middle of the of the river and. Uh, I think we would have put almost, I'd say, two hundred meters into into everyone by about six hundred meters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, it was quite interesting when you see the footage. You go, we stayed right wide, and everyone was here, and they were going nowhere, like going back. You know, it's so funny. I saw a video running, and I'm like, where are those guys swimming? You yeah, see yeah. The, yeah. And there was usually everybody sort of in the same area, and there was a couple of guys that was you guys. Yeah, they, were yeah. a totally different spot. Yeah, yeah. We. Um, there's a couple of people told us to do it, so we were like, oh, well, can't, can't hurt. So we tried it and it worked. And uh, so, yeah, me and Canute came out of the water together um, and we rode together. And I think I may have passed him on the run. I oh, can't, okay. I can't actually quite remember. But, um, yeah, I think we're pretty, pretty like, yeah. similar athletes. Ben might be a little bit better swimmer. but um, This could I be think, a tight match. I think, and also I've looked at Bakagard like, yeah, he's... He's also a good swimmer, really good swimmer, an animal yeah. on the bike, um, and also an unreal runner as well. So <laughs> it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a good one, I think. Is there another one that you looked at and said, "Ooh, I wish I wasn't racing so I could watch that one"? Yeah, of course, all of them. But I guess it's gonna be recorded, so it's yeah, yeah, always, you'll see it all. Oh yeah, yeah, you'll <laughs> can see always it all. go back and watch it. Yeah, yeah. So when did you get into the sport? Where, where you grow up as a swimmer, or runner? Uh, yeah, well, we grew up. I grew up north of Brisbane. Um, we had a bit of acreage, like 40 acres, which is... is um, it's a big place. Yeah, it's quite a lot. And uh, so I guess we were always running and stuff. And I think I just did... Um, the cross country in Australia is actually quite quite a good little mm-hmm. um, good little thing that there. So I sort of got around that. I sort of became a little runner. Um, nothing. No pressure or anything, doing anything. And uh, yeah, and I just sort of progressed into triathlon and uh, went through the ITU scene and... I started thinking about Olympics. Yeah, yeah, I did my did my time doing all that, and uh, yeah, it's just the way the Australian system works. The coaches, uh, it's it's not very healthy at the moment, and um, a lot of, you can just see a lot of athletes just not just avoiding it, and, right? Uh, and he, yeah, it's just it's a shame, really. Um, it's you know, it's interesting going back to the first ever Olympic triathlon mm. when everybody thought the Aussies were going to sweep everything. Yeah, and Keeley was the only one who got a medal. Yeah. And, um, you know, and then I remember in 2004, McKeeley had won the test event in Athens mm, and mm. they didn't put her on the team. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't understand. It seems to have gone for so many years. I, I don't know what, <laughs> like, I feel like they changed 
change people, but it must be the same. I think it's got to be the system. Their roles and yeah. the, the way the system is. Um, but, yeah. And and so eventually, you were you were like, okay, I want to. I love the sport. I don't yeah. like the politics. Yeah, they just they just don't treat you very well, and like, um, yeah, you sort of feel like you've just been used for other people. And, right. And so yeah, I just decided to put that aside, and um, of course, I'd love to one day in the future maybe even yes. give it another crack but at the moment um nah, focus on what yeah you're at the moment i'm all, all in for for ironman and uh long course and at the moment it's it's still not a so right. you've you've uh done a how many ironmans have you done now uh, or two. distance okay. i've only done cans so cans twice, okay yeah. yeah oh well, yeah cans twice yeah. and you won twice yeah yeah uh, 758 and then in 2020 813 so mm. getting better yeah <laughs> that one in 2020 was uh and that was like 36 degrees and in oh. the tropics and, oh uh, my god yeah. yeah it was hell but yeah but then you also won a challenge shepperton and uh, eighth at 70.3 gilon mm-hmm. um and so what did it mean to you when you when you realized okay i'm gonna be doing the college cup because this is mm. this is pretty historic time oh absolutely like uh i've never really followed so much racing the last last six months um just to see how people are doing and how many points they get and see if they can see if they can push ahead of you and uh i've never done that I've, so i sort of feel like i know the athletes a lot better and um i think it it makes uh like week to week racing more exciting because i feel like everyone's sort of sort of watching what's happening right. and if they're gonna make if they're gonna make the the team and uh i think it brings a whole different um dynamic to the sport and i think it's um it's definitely got a future for sure yeah so, uh, hell of the West. Mm. I see that on obviously a lot of Aussie yeah, lists. Yeah, it's a pretty and, iconic and one. You don't call an event hell of the West unless it's pretty brutal. Yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. It's out in the middle of the bush in like a cattle, a yeah. cattle country area, and um, it's a five a.m. start, and the sun doesn't come up till. About so you're swimming six. in the dark. It's pitch black, and there's little um, little canoes with like little uh, glow stick on them. On the canoe. <laughs> And you're swimming, and there's a big stick sticking out of the river, and the river's murky and yeah, uh, yeah. But it's it's, it's an adventure. Of, it right? is. I think that's why people love it. It's um, and the whole it's one of the better races to do because the whole organisation is um or country people. Yeah, and they're just so chilled and uh, yeah. It's one of the ones I think when Europeans come to Australia, they seem to go out there as well and do this one just just to experience it. right yeah yeah it sounds like sort of like an alcatraz type of thing i think yeah it's like it's up there like australia has a couple of big ones but i think hell the west and like noosa yes are the two ones that i'd recommend anyone who comes to australia to to go give to it, do, give yeah. it a shot. so after were you going to be going to kona yeah absolutely so i plan to to stay here um then go to the states um from here basically oh good so, so so don't go in the quarantine well that's what i was gonna do oh and then as soon as kona canceled i was oh, like oh gotcha yeah. i can, i could stay here and train but i was like i'll be away from family for a long time here right by myself so i was like i'll do my quarantine now so i have a couple of months before kona to prepare instead of going back before christmas and i've literally got like a okay. month to prepare for kona so yeah so um kind of throw kind of been postponed so a couple of spending the works but Yes. It's okay. I'll that, deal with it. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. And and so with uh, th- these last couple of years where you keep moving up the ranks, uh, is is the goal to focus more on the full, the half, or you just yeah. you like mixing it up? Yeah, well, I didn't expect to do an Ironman until like four years' time, really. Yeah, because you're young. Yeah, so I was like, but COVID was like there, so we sort of said there's only like a couple of races going to be on in Australia. Um and they're not going to be that big a field. So. Right. Yeah, right. No internationals can <laughs> no get there. No internationals. I don't even think the Kiwis the Kiwis couldn't even come. So it was literally just Australia. And uh, I was like, that's the only racing. They're still putting on good price purse. So we decided to set away six months for that, to prepare yeah. for that. And yeah, it seemed to work. And it was actually not as hard as I thought it would Yeah. Thought it would be. Um, yeah, we're like, yeah, it's, it's very different racing to 7.3. It's... Very much just about you know managing it's yeah the managing eating the drinking yeah, and don't, all don't that forget, stuff yeah it's basically it and yeah i feel like it's something i can definitely work on over the next couple of years so you feel pretty confident about the international team because i think everybody's thinking you're just going to wipe the floor with everybody yeah well no one really knows what uh internationals are <laughs> capable of because we haven't raced no <laughs> so uh we've only been racing locally so um 
everyone's sort of saying that like uh, we've been living in a bubble, but yeah, you see you see some of the athletes that are on international's team and um, <laughs> pretty impressive. Yes, yeah, yeah. So we're going in uh, pretty much pretty much like under, yeah, under the yeah, radar. Yeah, under the radar. Yeah, no great. one really knows what we're doing. So yeah, I think there'll be a couple of surprises to be honest. Very with. cool. So now that Ironman is gone, would you, would you try to? Does, can you roll over your qualification? Yeah, so an, yeah, they're okay. rolling that over. Then I think qualification opens maybe like next week for or something like that for, for 2022. Next 2022. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, so you could be. Some guys are going to do Chattanooga to qualify for 2022, yeah. and they're already in for 2021. Yeah, well, get a couple of years ahead. Yeah, there's a cup. There's a race in Australia, Bustleton. Yes. So this potential one I could do the beginning of December. And that will be for 2022. So we'll, we'll think about it when I survive quarantine, get out of that. Yeah. And <laughs> we'll think about the season ahead what, of that. What would it mean to you to win this inaugural Collins Cup? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think, um, I don't think you can really prepare because no one's really, it's never really happened before. Right. So. Never raced with two other people. No, nah, I feel like it's going into the opening ceremony yesterday was when I think everyone first felt like this is actually pretty cool. Um, like we sort of racing for your country slash region and like um yeah i think it's just different to what everyone's used to and um i think it's i think it'd be quite special to be honest so I yeah love it. love it yeah hey, well have a, a lot of fun out yeah, there thank you. and go go fast and yeah. hopefully uh team international can can do some stuff it was funny we were just talking to to sam appleton and he says hey there's gonna be you know and there's i'm gonna swim with jan Mm. And there's no reason why the two of us don't put the hammer down to get rid yeah, of Sam. Exactly, yeah. There's going to be some alliances out there. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you you're going to have to think about what, what is like the combos and stuff you can work together to. Yes. To yeah. Talk to. But yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be very interesting. I think the, the people like viewing this will, I think really enjoy it. Yeah, I think it's, it's going to be, be a spectacle. It's yeah. great for the sport. And it's funny because in the, in our darkest hours when the sport was really mm. teetering, race mm. directors are going on business, athletes are trying to figure out how to make a living. Yeah. PTO stepped in big time yeah. and really said, okay, yeah. we're going to support local races. Yeah. We're going to support the athletes yeah. to a level that's never been supported before. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's been great. Yeah, I think during that time, everyone was just looking for something yes. fresh to do and something to get out of that COVID like hole. And yeah. I think this is the perfect, I agree. perfect event to do it. And uh, I hope, I hope for the best for everyone. Perfect. Really. Yeah. Max, thank you. Pleasure. No Thanks so much for taking time. Thank you. And Max Newman has been our guest again. Breakfast with Bob, Challenge Championship, and the Collins Cup. Hold on. We'll be right back.